This episode is brought to you by Saycon, which is on my list of apps with the most potential for game-changing savings. Talk to your organization's mobility manager and they'll tell you the nightmare of managing multiple carriers per country, each with their own offerings, contracts, and integrations. Saycon abstracts and manages this for you, eliminating the swivel chair mobility management work and giving you asset and configuration data you can trust. Saycon is mobility managed. Check the description below. Hey everyone, welcome to another ServiceNow San Diego Essentials, where we take a moment or two to break down new features in the San Diego release of ServiceNow. In this episode, we are going to cover Flow Designer Diagrammer. Links to docs are gonna be in the description below. The San Diego Diagrammer view is an excellent start for a feature that will eventually make our flows a lot more visible and readable to the naked eye. You're gonna see this new toggle on your flows. If you don't see this toggle after upgrading to San Diego, just go to the plugins list, search for Flow Designer, and you should see this plugin. In my case, I had to update this even after installing San Diego in order for the toggle to appear on my flows. Now here's an example of a quick catalog flow I'm using to demonstrate this feature for you. This is gonna go back in time and order us an iPhone 5. Sweet. Then it's gonna ask for approval. If the approval fails, it's going to ask if the person is a VIP and eventually we're gonna add a task here to deploy a comms team if the person is a VIP. So the idea is the approval failed and if it's a VIP, we wanna send a comms team to make sure that we're still in their good graces. So we'll just click this button on our diagram view and this is the diagram for this flow. We can scroll up and down with the far right hand scroll bar. Also on the left hand side, you see the small box incredibly zoomed out. We can move up and down from there and we can also increase or decrease the zoom level. But what I really wanted to show you is that you can actually build in the diagrammer. So when we check to see if the person is a VIP, if that's true, I want to deploy a catalog task for the comms team. Just gonna click this, go to my actions, pull up a catalog task. And populating this is just like I would do on the conventional view. We're gonna pick the service catalog triggering item. Then we're just gonna put in deploy the communication team. And we can use a script or the data pill picker to make that a lot more nuanced. But at this point, I'm gonna click done. Now, do you remember when I said that flow diagrammer is a good start? The San Diego diagrammer view is an excellent start. The reason I said that is because there's two critical issues that I hope they work out soon. The first is that flow diagrammer is a little bit misleading, especially when you're using if statements and you want the workflow to terminate. In this example, we see that the catalog task has been created and the flow looks as if after that catalog task is done, it will transition to the end flow node. But if we look at this in conventional view, we'll see that that if statement does not terminate. And this leads us to the second problem because I could just train myself to always put in an end flow, but end flow does not appear in any of the flow logics available from the diagrammer view. Diagrammer does not support all the flow actions nor the flow logic. This has ramifications beyond just building in flow diagrammer. In some cases, you will not be able to see flow diagrammer at all because the existing flow is using an unsupported flow logic or action. In this case, a flow is using set flow variables and we cannot click the flow diagrammer view. So if you're building in flow diagrammer view, you're still gonna have to come back to conventional view if only to add end flow nodes to your if statements. Except for those two main issues, I think Flow Diagrammer is very promising, and I hope it's just one step on the path to a more truly Visio like experience for building workflow. If you're a ServiceNow expert looking for better opportunities, but maybe your resume or LinkedIn profile isn't doing you justice, reach out to me via LinkedIn or the email pictured here as I offer both career coaching and recruitment services. And if you're a ServiceNow customer or partner, you heard that right. Robert Fedoric now does ServiceNow recruiting. With a 1500 subscriber YouTube channel and mailing list and thousands of LinkedIn followers, let's make sure your open positions get first go at the prodigious pool of ServiceNow resources. Reach out via the email picture here.